there's a so the I probably better tell him the whole story. So these two friends, British guys from Newcastle, they went away to Prague. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh wow! So they went to Prague, and like somehow their passports got switched. <laughs> 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 and one guy flies back into the UK using his friend's passport not got stopped once he didn't even realise himself until he got home oh, and no. checked and he was like oh that's not my me. passport <laughs> what that's no one stopped him he went they went from they went from Prague via Amsterdam no one stopped him at Amsterdam no one stopped him at the UK port. He said, uh, it says in here, Amsterdam, do you know they have like a, yes. the, the thing? Yes. They said it, it didn't read it properly on the screen thing. He went over to a human. The human just flagged him through. They didn't even check the passport. Yeah, but it's they like, barely do. It's like, or they how do you look like your much. boy? But was his boy able to get through looking like him? <laughs> Clearly, like, no, no. no. That's so, it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> that, that's, what, <laughs> that's so funny. It's <laughs> layers of like, so <laughs> right before I came a month before I came uh, I lost my passport okay cool. and yeah I had to apply for a new one which costs like a good amount of money and it's just like it's just trouble you really. know not compared to like 80 bucks. but like still... you know how they say like oh is like all hijabis look the same or like <laughs> um, that's what we used to do we used to use the same like cards from our friends to go through yeah, places because wow. because because a lot of a lot of people just think that oh all hijabis look the same you know oh, wow. um so i wonder if i could have not renewed my passport and used one of my yeah, friends no, no, no. Okay. Right, so if i did hear this story i would push you on the line like yo you can't quite diverse <laughs> but also you can really interrogate or they have interrogated well, apparently they didn't yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. like i see here i see here <laughs> <laughs> like whoa that's, what I mean, yeah. that's odd man that's I, like i don't i don't understand i just don't understand how it didn't work the other way around yeah right like if i was good enough to get through with my boy's face how can my boy not <laughs> Like, is he better looking than me? Or is he like, like, you know, like, what's the, what's the, kind of, what's the deal? I, I, I'll just walk away feeling away. <laughs> if I'm the guy left there in Prague. <laughs> yeah, so he's left in Prague at the moment. Um, he's, he's waiting for the FedEx. Yeah. <laughs> what's that, DHL? What's your guys out here? He has to wait for the embassy um, yeah. to get him an emergency UK travel document sent over. Normally it takes two working days to process, yeah. and it's gonna cost him a hundred pounds. <laughs> that's a trip. <laughs> Aren't you guys all connected to the EU and everything? Isn't that just a train ride or something? Oh no, that's that's ended on the 29th of March. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I can get like, yo, what's going? Oh yeah. my god. I would like to know as well. I know. <laughs> yeah, questions yo, bro, that need answers like, right now. Like, no. You ain't gonna do it. You ain't gonna do it. To me, it doesn't do make do any sense. Like the. Bill, I mean, the bill was rejected, what, like, maybe a month ago, and mm. they were supposed, to, which took them two years to make, yep. and now they had to re-collaborate this bill to be presented next month. Mm. It took them two years to make this bill. How are they going to reform it in, t in one month yeah, see, for it honestly, to go forward mm -hmm. and be accepted? It. They just want that amount of time for them to figure, like, what I personally think is whatever, a government is going to be like, okay, we'll take care of this in a little bit. That means they're setting up all these other little things just to set it up. Like, oh, I'm going to talk to this corporation to deal with that. Yeah. I'm going to talk to this guy to deal with that. And like, no, 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 no. It's never about it. Because I think there's a consensus already made. You guys want to. Uh, for the reasons that I believe, maybe that push for them by a little bit, like, racist reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of it. Yeah. yeah. And then, know. like, the side that wasn't. I guess racist about it. Maybe it's a lot more like, you know, we don't want to be taken over by corporations. That's at least as far as I see, right? Yeah. But, buddy, you guys seem just bony in the other way. I don't know. It just, it affects so much that, yeah. it just feels like when it happened, in my mind, they mentioned Brexit was a thing. And we were like, what's Brexit? And then they were oh, like, God. we're going to vote on this. But, but what is Brexit that we're voting on? Oh, okay, God. the votes had, people had it 50-50-ish. 
and it was more it, what, what's more is that it was just the uh, what is it called just, yeah. no it's not what's the election type what's the type of election called a oh, referendum. referendum it was just a referendum mm. there was no legal binding on it mm. it was only when article uh, oh, article 51 i think it yeah. is was implemented that it made it legally binding that we had to actually go forward and leave mm. the eu but they could have had the referendum as kind of a first thoughts to That's where the sad. UK are, yeah. then have the conversation of what Brexit is and what it means for us to leave, yeah. then have another referendum, because then having another referendum makes sense because nothing's finalised, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, but now it kind of feels like... You're just like, nah, buddy. You're just like, okay, yo, bro, yeah. you want to dip, dip. Yeah. Come see. Thanks but, exactly. yo, if we had a chance to do that to America, hell yeah. <laughs> These are Canadians, bro. Because well, I know that um, uh, I hear I hear the the, the new sort of talk being like as like Europeans look at the UK the same yeah. way Canada looks at America, you know. But yeah, I don't really like I don't see it. <laughs> but obviously that's what they're saying. I mean I don't know what what is the relationship between Canada and America? They're, no, friendly. Like, we, they're friends. Yeah, they're friends. And, but and we look down on them all the time. No, we and don't we actually. As, yeah, well, yeah, we, we use just, them as an excuse exa- for us to we, not get stuff done on our end. We use them as a we compare ourselves to America as if America is a good source to compare yourself to. Yeah. But the reason exactly the reason they, they do that, that so is to make excuses them. to say that we are the better, politer mm-hmm. version of America, Here's which the, in fact is lies. Yeah. <laughs> All the Canadian people have met are nice. We are nice, but but in, in regards to the government and the way the system is set up, um, America is is overt in their okay. actions, in their racism, mm-hmm. in their Islamophobia, mm-hmm. etc. But Canada hides it under the skies of niceness and diversity ah. and diverse and, and quotations diversity. Yep, yep, quotation. When in reality, quotation um, progressive quotation liberal. Yeah, they only use those key words to position themselves in a very specific way while they are actually committing all of those acts the same uh, similarly to America. So it makes you question which one is worse. Uh, you know, okay, when I yeah. when you're telling me you're one thing but in reality you are something else yeah. or when I see what you are and I see right through you and I don't have to question what it is. You are showing me that you don't like me and I know you don't like me. You're not faking a smile yeah, in my true. face. And uh, unfortunately, in Canada, the people who've been suffering under that the most, obviously, is Indigenous people of Canada. Mm-hmm. It is the um, Black people of Canada. It is the Muslim communities in Canada. And unfortunately, it's you know, it's just the white work people ask me to go. Yeah. 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 And then that's easy anger for the observers to pick up on. Yeah. yeah. And then boom, you got this. Hey, easy, easy bake. Yeah, it's hidden. Yeah, it's hidden, but it's hidden, but it's obvious. They're giving it. Yeah. It's just funny. Yeah. It's obviously B. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear about uh, Shamima Begum? The she were, went over to Syria when she was 14 or 15 or, and she's back over here now at 19 wanting to come back to the UK but she went over to Syria to marry mm, someone yeah, from yeah. ISIS member yeah, yeah. Again, um, and she had two children over there in Syria that both died and now she has another child that she wants to bring back with her into the UK but she has the Home Office has revoked her British citizenship, so she will not be allowed to return back to the UK. And if she tries, she'll be charged yeah. and arrested. Yeah. yeah. I I hadn't heard about this specifically. Yeah. I I saw it for the first time on Saturday or Sunday. One of my friends was showing me the story about it, and I was just like, "Wow, I didn't. I've never seen this." But yeah. That's tough. What do you guys think on the issue? Like. Uh, so, like, I feel like maybe the UK might have been divided on whether she should be allowed to come back into the UK or... Because I guess it's... It's more of a terrorist thing, maybe, because of who she went over to Syria and who she married. Maybe she might have... I don't know, she might be involved in that world or and she might bring it over to here that might be a fear for British people but then if she was born here shouldn't she be allowed to 
come back here to live, even though she did go away to Syria at a young age or for whatever reason. I think that shouldn't she be allowed to come back now, maybe? It goes down to mentality and like how, what was going on through her mind and her yeah. decisions for leaving and what was shown, like, you know, like you, someone would go to that feels that that is something that is not only just okay, yeah. but it is something that, like, you know, that they're being called to do. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't do that unless you felt like a divine push. Yeah, of course. You know, and uh, regardless of what, yeah, like, regardless of what sort of, like, you know, it's not right, it's not good, we know the things going on there more horribly beat. Like, fuck, that's like... Oh, you made that choice. Yeah. You made the choice to go there, and now you're going to come back because it was wrong. You know? But um, how young was she? Uh, she's 19 now. How old was she then? Um, and then these people are trying to talk them over. Like, it's almost seemed like she got lured. I think you know? she went over there when she was 15. Yeah, like 15 year old can't. You know, that's like, yeah, that's like being lured. Like, yeah. someone luring you over the internet or something like that. It's like that to me. So she yeah, left in two thousand and fourteen. So she left the UK in two thousand and fourteen. So then fourteen. I'm not too sure, man. But again, it all it all comes back to um, you know who looks British. You yeah. Know, who you know who is who holds that label? Who holds that title? Who do we always associate terrorism with? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and what ex under what any circumstance or excuse can we again have the face of another Muslim woman, visible Muslim woman, on the papers again yeah. under a controversy, you know? And that in itself is, is how Islamophobia or any type of uh, discrimination that's turned into an industry mm-hmm. continues, to, um, continues to snowball into a bigger thing. Um, so... I feel like any excuse that <laughs> that the industry can get to put the face of another Muslim woman on the papers um, that circulate all around to create under a controversy mm. is a benefit to them. Yeah. Um, and ultimately, yeah, who who gets to hold on to that title of, of what is English or what is British? And yeah. I mean... There's nothing English in this world. It, th- there's nothing, no such thing as English because it's a England, culture of colonialism. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and as a Canadian, or actually, one thing I will say, as someone from Canada, I don't I don't consider myself Canadian. I say this all the time um, because because I don't believe that that exists. First of all, yeah. we are in Canada. We are settlers on occupied land, on indigenous land. And the indigenous population of Canada still exists in the margins and peripheries of the system. Um, they've been put there very intentionally for very specific purposes, and they're still struggling to maintain their livelihoods in a lot of ways. The number one um, population in the Canadian prison system is indigenous people. Um, There's thousands of missing and murdered indigenous women who the police have not even looked into their cases because they don't value those lives. And it's it's a question of, yeah, how am I, someone who came from wherever, how can I call myself Canadian when what really does that term even mean, you know? And how am I constantly um, fighting the continuous colonialism that the state is trying to perpetuate and keep alive. Um, and and so, with, yeah, like, it's like, and, and it is a culture of colonialism and it, it continues to take, and even the di- diversity right now that Canada specifically prides itself on is, um, is a mixture of all these cultures that they actually don't like, you know, in reality. They like our food. They like that they can now call themselves diverse, but the ways in which people are treated and and cared for is is very is very obvious. Yeah. Yeah.
No, I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna click on the next article, but then it just made me think about yeah. something that. Um...